Well, hello, Gemini. Welcome to your weekly reading. This is September 4th through 10th. I hope you are uh, amazing. So, as always, we're going to touch on love, money, career, and a random message for you this week. So, Gemini, September 4th through 10th, and love... We have Lily, Bouquet, Crossroads. So in love, Gemini, I feel as though your, hmm, your care your patience, your kindness seems to be taken for weakness, okay? It's almost like your partner doesn't see the urgency, okay? It feels like your partner is like on the... And it doesn't even have to be a partner because I'm also feeling like family or friend as well. Um, like... Like, you're trying to figure out, like, what, not even what to do about this friend. Like, you're going to get rid of them or family member. It's more like trying to figure out how you're going to act with them or deal with them. Uh, it's like um, trying to find balance in your relationship or connection, okay? But I, this feels like patience and kindness taken for weakness. It's like you're giving them the option to do something better or do something different. And it's like they're not choosing wisely. Like like they can sort of keep getting away or keep using your kindness instead of action, you know, or ch making a choice and seeing it as an opportunity to almost do better it's so weird because it's coming to me like a gift you're like most people I know are not given this gift of patience kindness and advice please take it <laughs> that's what it feels like like please don't mess up take what I'm giving you okay <laughs> so king of coins the sun eight of swords the lovers Five of Wands and the Emperor. Yeah. Uh -hmm. the, on the only two that are in the upright are the Five of Wands and the Emperor. Yeah. And I, I feel like this is you like, please take what I'm giving you and take control of your life. Right? It's like I've given you all the tools you need. How else could I do? What else could I do besides do it for you? And I'm not doing that. This is not my lesson to learn. Yeah. I feel like you've given all that you can give. You've helped all that you can give. I mean, like, this is even money. This is stability. This is, like, trying to give people, like, proper structure. All of that. It, it, you really have. It's like, I have, I am trying. I have done what I can do. Okay? And I am making a decision to care about myself. This is getting so imbalanced that I'm going to stop doing it. You know, it's like you're starting to see that there's a problem. And you are thinking about the connection. And I don't see you like breaking up, but you're like, this ain't what I thought it was. You know, it almost feels like you might be seeing that a relationship is like not codependent, but just unhealthy, you know. Yeah, this is a person, you're dealing with a person that cannot see in front of them correctly. They're not setting realistic goals. They're sitting in their sadness. This person wants to be sad. They do. They want to be sad. And conflict makes them feel alive. 
And when they're not conflicting in a relationship and a connection, they don't feel like it's worth the time. You know, uh, you know, those people, let me just say this in a relationship, those people that you're in a relationship with. And if you're not fighting, if you're not arguing, if it's not passionate and pushy and make up sex, then it doesn't feel like a relationship, like they're not happy. They don't know what it's like to be content. Uh, that's what that energy feels like to me. The problem is you see through this like a wet paper towel, Gemini. That's what the problem is. You're not falling for this. You're not involved in the shenanery. You're not. And you're more in control than they think you are. So I don't, I'm going to be honest. I don't see exactly where they think this is going because it's just causing more and more problems because you can see. And the, the closer you get to making a decision, it's not going to be the one they want you to make. <laughs> okay. So career money. Rider, cross, and snake. First things first is if you've been giving money to someone, you are seeing that it's not helping, it's hindering the situation, or you're getting a little too far into your finances that you have to stop. That's the first thing. Um, second is... You're definitely making a lot of changes, like um, watching how you're spending money, um, watching like what you're doing at work to make sure you're putting yourself in a positive mindset with your bosses, with the job. Um, but this is your way of like, how can I say, not picking up the slack, but you're like, I know what I have to do for things to work for me. I know what I need to do for the future to look successful. I know what I need to do to get people to see how much work and time I put into things, right? Okay. So, ten of coins, two of coins, three of swords... Seven of Wands, High Priestess, Two of Cups. Also, I feel like you can see deceit or a lie a mile away. Uh, especially when it comes to work. If somebody's like being extra nice to you or something, I feel like you can... You're so heightened at this point that you can look at them and be like, Yeah, no. <laughs> um, so... Yeah, you are more worried about your future, retirement, investments. That's what I see. And I, I, I feel like you're paranoid or antsy about future investments. And that's kind of, that's not kind of, that is what's influencing your actions moving forward. So I see you trying to balance finances, balance career, and this could be cutting somebody off, okay? Um, and this feels deeper than just watching your budget. This is like you've been supporting someone's lifestyle. You've been uh, giving money when you shouldn't. You've been... superficially 
influenced by someone outside of you. So I don't feel like it's you. Yeah, and this person feels kind of close to you or you feel like you need to give them something, you know. Um, the problem is you were doing it kind of blindly, but now you can see. And you're looking for a new beginning. You're looking for a new start when it comes to finances and money. So you're like, you know what? You're looking to cut them off. Yeah, you're looking to fix whatever this is. This is more of a money issue. So you're thinking, how can I keep the relationship or the connection or the friendship and stop giving this person money or stop giving them time and I need this time for me. Um, okay, that's that's what's going on this week. Okay, and a random message, Gemini. Coffin, whip, and tree. Yeah, you've been craving like this new beginning, new start, being more abundant. I see someone following like the laws of attraction. Um, <laughs> maybe even doing like small rituals like and I mean small this is not big I'm talking about like uh, burning cinnamon or putting money in a jar and and uh, like a hope jar or something you know like little small things that's kind of mystical in a way um, and it may just be mystical to you you know but I guess that's what yeah, I guess that's what magic really is. It's whatever it is to you. But um, you're like trying to have more abundance in your life in different areas. So money, career, you want your life to be better. You want your uh, relationships to be better. You know, like you just want peak life. Okay. Um, but there are some things in your life that you need to deal with. And I feel like this week, they're being more highlighted than before, you know, like, I really need to do this. I really need to fix this. I really need to get to the bottom of whatever this is. Um, and this is for the health of my life, of my situation, right? So it doesn't seem bad at all to me, Gemini, I'm gonna be honest. It just feels like you're taking care of yourself on a, a like a spiritual level, you know, um, and everything else falls in place. It kind of gives me that well-being feeling. Okay. So we have the Ten of Swords. Page of Coins. Temperance. Yeah, definitely making changes. Yeah. So sometimes it can look a little tangled up like cobwebs. Queen of Coins. Three of Swords. Like... It feels a little bit complicated, like you've been doing this for a long time or maybe years and things are just kind of intricate, the details of everything. But I feel like you are tired and you're ready for a new beginning. That's the point. I feel like that's what's driving you. You're like, okay, if I'm going to fix this, I'm going to have to heal it. I'm going to have to do what I need to do uh, to get this thing resolved. Like I can't blame others. Um, you know, I got to I got to get some movement going here. So you got to start somewhere. So you're focusing, I feel like you're focusing more on money at this point. What's influencing your money, your job, your, your goals to make more money, uh, m spending money or giving money that you don't have. You're focusing more on money. So this week you're focusing more on the financial aspects or, um, 
yeah, financial aspects. I was, I'm gonna leave it at that, right? And what's interesting is I feel like you don't really have a lot of patience either. Like your patience is gone. Like at this point, you're like, I'm about to bulldoze through this stuff, right? And I'm about to separate from it as as harshly as I can. I feel like because it's a little bit tangled up, you know that it's going to be a little bit complicated. But at this point, you're like, you know what? I'm gonna deal. I'm gonna deal with the repercussions later. But the first, the first focus is getting rid of this or cutting these um, these cobwebs out. You know. All right, Gemini. I love you. I'll talk to you next week. Okay. <laughs> bye bye.